Chris here. It is the week of March 21st. It's uh, been a kind of a crazy week. It's yeah, March of 2020, so there's quite a lot of stuff going on. Obviously, the economy, oil, uh, coronavirus. But today, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about something that's just a seasonal, a seasonal thing. And every year, it happens, and it's kind of the same thing. We're headed into the end of March, the beginning of April, and this is where things start to thaw. Right, and they start to thaw, and then sometimes they freeze again. And that creates pretty treacherous conditions for those of you that are on the roads. Um, and I myself am on the road every workday for sure. I commute from Wasilla, Alaska to Anchorage, and it's about an hour commute. Um, and it's, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world, uh, but this time of the year, it can be a little more treacherous than others because what we have often happen is the the roads will thaw up for a bit as the temperature increases and then they'll the temperature will drop and they'll quickly ice up and that can happen all within hours within the same day and if you're not paying attention um, well even if you are paying attention sometimes the roads can just get slick as temperature changes significantly over a 50 mile stretch and so you can hit a patch of ice and um, on the Glen Highway, if you're f familiar with it at all, it's the, it is the highway that links Anchorage as you head north with other parts of the state, whether it's Fairbanks or my neck of the woods, Wasilla, Palmer area. Um, so what we have here is some, some, some video from this week of exactly what I'm talking about, where the roads weren't in terribly bad shape, but then we got just a, f a, a temperature drop, the roads began to freeze, and we got some snow on top of that made con conditions just incredibly treacherous uh, as we can see in this video we've got cars that are off the road uh, and what happens when cars go off the road is they tend to create traffic jams so this was March 17th earlier in the week and it took me it took me I, I think I got home about nine o'clock left it left the office a little bit after five I actually swung by a friend's house and hung out for an hour or so in Peters Creek because I knew I was gonna get stuck in traffic, this jam up was towards the Ecludna exit, um, which is a little more north, just south of Palmer. But traffic was going incredibly slow, as you can see in the video, all the way to where you could see the cars off the road. And thankfully, I don't think anybody was killed or uh, significantly hurt. But obviously, it's a big, a big pain in the butt for those of uh, those folks that did find themselves off the road. And I think what happens often is they have to brake, right? So you brake because somebody's having a problem in front of you then all of a sudden you're having a problem and then just repeat i think a lot of people found themselves in that situation where uh, the ice became the, the, the road became icy fast and you're trying to respond and the road the, the speed limit 65 miles an hour sometimes people are going faster sometimes people are going slower but yeah at 65 miles an hour on the ice um, if you hit a patch you're gonna you're gonna know it fast and i can tell you just on the the road that i'm on here i run up, up and down at Goose Bay Road daily and even that road I've lost control a couple of times um, to where the car is spun out right and I drive a CRV an old 2000 CRV with all-wheel drive and it can spin out even um, and so I think the key is to not overcorrect they say a lot of times overcorrection can lead, lead to a, a worse accident than you might otherwise had and so I didn't have an accident thankfully but I clearly could see how the roads were treacherous um, so this time of year, it's, uh, the roads can be bad on top of everything else. So pay attention, be aware of what the temperature is, watch for those icy spots. Um, you know, be careful, watch out for others, leave some good space behind you or in front of you. And you know, as much as you can, you, hopefully the people behind you are giving you space as well, but yeah, be prepared. Don't crowd up. Um, take care, be safe this spring. Good luck driving and we'll see you next time.